Shalom everyone. Everyone hope that you're doing fantastic. Um, if you're new, I just, I've been just doing a lot of audios on this channel. I used to actually do tarot on this channel and it just went through a huge process and you just really have to go back and if you can find certain um, videos to um, listen to, then just keep in mind that it's been a progression and things unfolding. So there could be things that I revealed today that I didn't know then. And uh, so always keep that in mind and look at timestamps and stuff like that. But welcome if you are new and um, those of you are returning. I appreciate you all so very much. And I know this channel has went through, like I said, a lot of things. And there have been people suppressing things, but uh, apparently, I guess it is what it is. I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit continuing my work here and uh, my personhood in is that a word in the earth. I'm still having coffee um, this morning. I don't know what it is you're catching this video, but I'm having coffee this morning. And I used to get on this channel really uh, first thing in the morning and, and do readings. And so it takes me a second to get my brain kicked in, but I've already been doing some studying, and we've been talking a lot and cracking I would say the cracking the case with spirituality and uh, I really last night I was really setting with some things um, I've always been a very spiritual person and there's a lot of people uh, now everybody well actually everybody's spiritual even if you're not awakened to things you really are being influenced by it in some way shape or form <clears throat> either you're awake or you're not but you are uh, under the influence of something spiritual at all times especially uh the creator of all things that exist is uh spiritual and got his eyes on us at all times and weighing uh what we do and what we think and how we're behaving to one another and and things like that and it's really up to people in the earth on and how things turn out for you and i really um and to not judge, uh, I mean, as far as jumping the gun and, and thinking that you know something when you don't, because all of us done it to some degree. But uh, we also have people out there who want to uh, control you uh, and influence you and control you for negative ways. And that you should judge and you should point your finger at it and say, I don't think so, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, if you're trying to harm somebody, there's something wrong with that, obviously. But anyway... We've been talking a lot about uh, cracking stuff that has been written in what we've been uh, given at the Bible and stuff like that. And um, basically, you know, I've been sitting, like I said, I was sitting with a lot of the stuff that's come out last night. And um, it just really does boil down to good and evil. We know that there's uh, angels and, and demons, okay? And like I said the other day, we all have a God gene on the inside of us. And uh, whether we're going to walk in uprightness with the spirit of truth or not, again, it's up to you. And what your fate turns out to be is what you chose how to operate. If you got to control somebody, you're really under a negative, uh, influential, um, demonic dark place to, to because anyway i want to talk about witchcraft today and magic and i brought out on this channel before that um to the pure all things are pure and i totally believe that we can see that even in the natural uh let's just use uh agri agricultural um language here because it really does speak volumes to us if you go out and you put a seed in the ground and something negative comes out of that seed you can either get weeds or you can get wheat or some type of a beautiful tree that's going to bring some type of a plant that you can eat from okay and we're told that our words are seeds and they really are you can say something to somebody say, i hate you and all of us sometime in our life, because uh, everybody ha is capable of getting into those emotions, okay? It, but when we grow up from that and learn how to cast those thoughts down, the more and more that we exercise that, the more stronger we get within that. Uh, and so your mouth can say, I, I really care about you very much. Or you can go back and say, I know I hurt you. Um, would you forgive me? And it can change a soft answer. We're told will turn turn away wrath. And so our seed 
you can say something to someone and hurt them or make them feel good and that seed will grow within a person some people because they know how to we talked about the palladians and stuff like that which we can find writings uh uh, obviously, we got the whole zodiac in the book, in the Bible itself. Okay, we've already cracked that case. All right. Um, I'm not your judge on what you do. Uh, personally, like I said, I was sitting here last night thinking about all this stuff that's come out, what the divine has brought out for me to reveal. And it really does go back to, because I enjoyed doing the tarot. I'm not going to go back to do the tarot as I know now, um, as far as now. Um Maybe I maybe I won't say that. Maybe I won't say I don't know what my tomorrow holds. Okay, I'm not looking to do any kind of magic towards anyone to cast spells or to control them or anything like that. Um, because at this point, like I said, everybody is in it some way, shape, or form, and I'm going to prove it by what I studied this morning. And uh, you and I are, and I hate to use the word magical, but we're spiritual, and that really does go back to spiritual things. And we, everybody, like I said, can uh, do something that is going to influence. If you're trying to go get a job, you're trying to, you know, go in there with your, put your best clothes on and present yourself a certain way. And in itself, at its uh, most, you know, um, <laughs> Look, that is that is a type of trying to sway somebody to get what you want. It really is. In some type or, or fashion, uh, we all are doing it. Okay? It really boils down to your heart. My heart and your heart. What is our motive of our heart? Magic is the art of influencing is what the um, definition. It also is the art of predicting events which that's prophesying. Well, we can find even in the scripture prophesying in the, uh, people who were uh, lying prophets and people who were uh, truthful prophets. It was still, um, but the one that could say something and it come to pass, we're told that's a true prophet. Not somebody who's trying to make you do something and for a minute it, 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 could, it could, could seem or assume you could uh, something could be... Um, taking place but it, the end result will literally tell you and I what was the truth and what wasn't okay you can if you pay attention to people and why they're talking to you and, and the words that they're saying and you are exercised in truth you could never be duped you know how to listen to the voice of truth even if the voice of truth tells you to go and do something to other people that they would point their finger and say well God wouldn't say that well if in the end it will prove itself it will prove itself, okay? We even got scripture in the New Testament that states that. Uh, they called Christ himself, and he had a demon, okay? And the, the, the person of Christ is beautiful. So our words as a seed in whatever we plant, there will be an, something will come up from it. So magic, the definition went back to influencing itself, okay? And... Um, producing marvels is what it says or using hidden natural forces the supernatural art of something i've had a lot of supernatural things happen around me i actually had it happen the other day when i was talking about red and yellow kill a fella and i did that first video and then i got on the next day uh, or whenever the next video was and uh, began to continue speaking about it because of that poinsettia that was just sitting beside me didn't even know uh <laughs> didn't recall hitting uh my ledge where the flowers are sitting and they were anyway supernatural things like that whether it took place naturally it was still supernatural um because of what i was talking about and if you don't understand where i'm going with that you just have to go back and watch that video because like i said y'all excuse me i'm trying to wake up uh but anyway um things that are supernatural to us we're not going to be able to escape this we're not now, everybody's, you know, if you're going to point your finger about magic, everybody's guilty, okay? Every one of us is watching movies. We've, we've, we've all, you know, you went to a church. There's supernatural things in church. You've went into positive churches and negative churches. You've listened to people who've had upright spirit and, and uh, speak about things. And you've also, you know, went into churches that were negative that uh, brought forth uh, uh, witchcrafty stuff as well because it's all there, okay? The devil goes to church too. Uh, I've already proved it through that book anyway. So, supernatural art. 
okay especially art of controlling the actions or the spiritual um world type of energies now when you get together in the church they're doing the same thing they're just again they're just doing it for some people are doing it in an upright fashion some people aren't so witchcraft magic wicca is also connected to that um it's a skill uh the, it stated here when I was doing some research that uh, it was a crime in the English law in the 15, uh, 1542, and those trials really peaked in the 1580s. Now, we got people who were literally burned at the stake. Some of those people were probably good-hearted people, okay? I'm going to make a statement here, and uh, I, I don't care what you do. Again, to the pure, all things are pure. Um, if you're casting a spell and you're doing it to control, you're a witch and you're a really bad witch. Okay? If you are doing something to get a result, like I stated yesterday in the New Testament, they were putting oil on a clothing and praying over it for a healing to take place. And that's positive. That's still a natural supernatural force coming together to get a result for another person but it should never be outside of a person's um uh um accepting what you're doing or doing something behind somebody's scene and to try to get what you want again and casting some type of a bewitchment upon somebody that's really dangerous that will backfire on you eventually it, it sure will because good always wins over evil just go ahead and watch all your movies we know it okay it always brings it forth that good will overpower evil every single time why would you want to put a spell on somebody i don't get that anyway you just you're missing something on the inside of yourself witchcraft the art of sorcery anyway it went back to um the it really peaked in um the 1580s and in the 1640s but it fell really sharply it stated after the 1660s and the last in the 1717 in 1717 it ended uh, ended in acquittal so uh, the witchcraft act it stated was repealed in 1736 now look at the world everybody is doing some type of witchcraft whether you know about it awaken to it or not you accept it to some degree something spiritual um a witch is a female magician a sorceress a woman supposed to have dealings with this what it said for a witch okay um it's a woman supposed to have had to have dealings with the devil and with evil, the evil side of the spear, which that's a given. We know about a witch, um, but it, it went to saying that, that it, there's a there's a big cooperation to perform a supernatural act there. So Wicca again came out. A sorcerer, a, a wizard is a man who practices witchcraft or magic or the soothsayer divination. We took that, I did a video, y'all remember that watched that, and that um, divination it was even proved in the scripture, positive and or negative. Even Joseph himself stated uh, even that he could de divine, right? And uh, and we can, and yes, we can. Again, if we are contacting the source of all pureness, okay. Um, this went back also to a necromancer, and that's so dangerous. This is one who wakes the dead. That's very dangerous to do that. Um, this witchcraft was connected to surveillance as well. <laughs> Um, astrology was here. Uh, all of the definitions for a witch. So those of you who are ugly witches and doing ugly things, well, your fate is, because we already have proven on this channel, things that will express itself in all shapes and forms to every single thing that is connected to that. Oh, so if you're an ugly witch and you've got to put a bewitchment or a spell or a cast or an enchantment and that's your craft, well, one of the definitions for you is an, an ugly, evil-looking 
old woman. You're going to be ugly when you get old. You really are. You don't stop. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the the uh, witchcraft energy went back to, because it's witchcraft, the word craft was being highlighted there. We have craft in food as well. And again, you know, what are you craft, you know, everybody's got some type of a craft about them, right? We're not going to be able to escape this. We've got power within uh, to uh, 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 create our own world. We've got the God gene on the inside. If you're pure, you're pure. But anyway, the word craft is within the word witchcraft. And it went to power and physical strength and might, uh, skill, um, a strength of virtue. We got a lot of stuff about virtue, even in the scripture. Uh, this is, um, let's see, the the skill and dexterity, art, science, talent was there. Well, who's not talented? Um, trade, hand, handicraft, employment was there. So, like I just said, um. Going on in to get a job, and you're trying to put your best, you're trying to do your magic, right? Um, also, uh, something built or made was connected to the word craft as well. Uh, went to a small boat or a, um, so a boat, that goes right back to water stuff. We know that in the Hebrew, that takes us back to the word ship which is actually a snake, but the snake goes right back to um, magic and witchcraft and things like that. And again, we know that the book of Revelation states that the, the woman, is, which is the churches, all of them, are sitting on magic, puff the magic dragon itself, being drunk on the blood of saints, because some people are in this stuff for really negative purposes. A craft being skilled and practiced within that, okay? Okay. Uh, again, a vehicle was found here. People who perform a particular kind of skill at work. This went back to shrewdness with this craft as demonstrating by being skilled in your deception, being sly, being guile with it, uh, cunning to make by hand and with such skill. Uh, and then craft foods is, again is um, is there's connections here. There's and there's really good food. Okay, <laughs> now again we you gotta pay attention to your spirit when you're doing shopping and stuff like that. We really do have wicked people out there, people. Okay, uh, so sorcery, conjuring up evil spirits to be bewitched means to cast that spell and enchant or to uh, for for somebody's uh, hurt is what it's stating here for being be actually Paul says who hath bewitched you um, a lot of people have been asleep it's time to wake up now um, like I said not too long ago somebody was to come to your door and said I'm a witch you'd say get out of here you really would. Are they going to show up that way? You have to really be exercised in your spirit to pick up on this kind of stuff. Um, a uh, to be bewitched also took uh, took us back to being really charming. Uh, we also have little trinkets and charms and things like that. And I've already talked about idols and stuff. It actually brought it out here with some of this uh, studying. Um, so it, it all really goes to back, it goes together. The enchantment, the bewitching, the craft itself. You know, enchantment also took. This was amazing because it several times gave the word for music or song or singing and concert and courses. Well, if you sing, does that mean that you're uh, you're in magic? Again, it really goes back to your heart. I'm a singer, okay? And I have nothing on the inside of me that wants to uh, cast anything on anybody. You know, just live your life, people. Uh, if you've got, obviously we've got, we were given a uh, skill to do something, Everybody's got something special about them. Okay, do it with all your heart, all your might, but impurity. Impurity. This enchantment went back to that alluring, allurement. 
energy. I also went back to really feeling great and liking something or someone uh, and feeling really wonderful on the inside. And you're just captivated. Well, that's why children are so impressionable as well. And it's really important that you watch what they are watching. Uh, if you're going to set them down in front of your television, just, you know, listen to your spirit because they really get captivated really easy. Not just, out, not just with television, with all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um, so enchantment went back to a, a psychological state that is induced or as if somebody was induced by some kind of magical incantation okay uh the, this is my last thing here that i want to bring out and it went to magic went to glamour it went to um it literally gave hollywood because that goes back to idolizing. The word idol is found there. High fashion is there. Celebrity is there. Sex appeal was connected to this uh, enchantment. Uh, magical words and stuff like that. Beauty and hexes were also connected to that. The word bewitch was there. Spells were there. Uh, again, the literal word Hollywood was there. How many people are guilty now for watching Hollywood? Okay, so uh, I'm bringing this stuff out. For people to understand that it's really dangerous to point your finger at something that you might think is going on. Some people really are doing this in the negative. But there are people that are really not casting spells, but it could come across and look like you are in magic. And in some way, shape, or form, you're just spiritual. Okay? Uh, go ahead. You do your craft. You do your skill. Uh, you do what the divine tells you to do and open your ear and listen and walk that way. Okay. To some people, like I said, it may come across that it's magic, but if you know in your heart that you are pure, then all things to you are pure. Okay. You stand firm. You, you know, it, it literally was stating here, uh, using natural hidden forces. Well, that's the spiritual realm. And like I just said, church does that. Uh, the, it, again, <laughs> let us get rid of the wicked magical demonic murderous hexes and quit opening that realm for wickedness sake when i did the tarot and like i said i really enjoyed doing the tarot <laughs> And like i said i won't be doing that anymore but then i had corrected myself so i don't know what i'll do Okay, because I did it with all purity in my heart. And when something negative came out, I corrected it. And uh, needs must be that way in everything we do so that we can come up higher and that everybody can thrive. Um, is this why we see the stars being eaten? Because of this kind of stuff. And yet everybody's guilty. Because you either watch it. Because you'll turn TV on. You'll watch you'll watch beauty and Hollywood movies. And, and things like that. Everybody's guilty people. It's time to really put down. All the fighting implements. That people have. It's time to heal our. Heal our world. It, it really is. Um. If, 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 if people are so, all these witches out here doing the, all the wicked stuff, if you were so powerful to get your way, why wouldn't you just do such a, a magic trick to make your whole life um, so, <laughs> so fixed in such a way that you wouldn't have to worry about the one you're trying to put a, a, a hex on. I don't get it. Uh, it. It's just like people need to wake up now. Okay. If you got a problem with someone and you're trying to fix something, you're not going to fix it in all evilness. You're going to fix it with kindness. You're going to fix it by way of the, the correct spirit and being upright. 
And the only way we're really going to get uh, nothing but light to shine in the world is to change the, the spirit that you're listening to. And really connecting to the true source of all things. Again, listening to that voice. Because people really do know. Um, they really do know the truth. It's just that people haven't exercised themselves within it. Anyway, I just wanted to continue to bring this all out. I might jump, might jump on later. And um, if, if uh, the divine gives me other information that I want to bring out. And it is good for us to continually to bring this stuff and keep it before us. Again, it's a, it's a, it's a way of exercising something. Let me bring out something. Let me just end one thing here. In the scripture, uh, I don't remember what book it's in, but somebody was coming to the prophet to um, get a word or they needed an answer uh, from uh from the Lord, okay, and at that time, it that's what was being found in the Old Testament and stuff like that. You would go to the prophet, okay, and somebody was going to uh, the prophet, and the prophet said, "Go get um, somebody who played the. I'll just call it a guitar. I don't remember what it's called now, but anyway, they said go get somebody, go get the music or whatever, and then he put the music on and he began to uh, prophesy and get a word. And this did go back to that gave me a lot of references for singing and songs and music. And so if you're a singer and you've ever pointed your finger at me for doing something, uh, you know, you too are operating by some type of a spiritual force by way of singing yourself. Okay. Uh, it's there. Uh, oftentimes when I did readings, I would have music being played in the background. Okay. Again, it really goes back to the pureness of our heart, guys. Really. So, um, in the positive sense of spirituality, you can call it whatever you want. Just be careful what you do call it. Because, uh, again, uh, you know, like I said, magic has a lot of different... Um, definitions to it and we've already seen how things will play out in all forms of the definition of words uh, call it something else if you're in the app right you just say well i don't think there's anything wrong with magic and i'm doing something for natural source okay that's fine uh just, and, and if you're pure in it you're pure in it okay at the same time please be aware and take authority over um the, the, all of the negative side of the definition of magic so that that does not try to make its way in around you in any way, shape, or form. Do your work in all purity and to, to be helpful in the world. And let us truly bring the vibration of this planet up. Thank you all for listening to me and especially for those parts where I was just kind of flighty. Uh, I really need to, to drink this cup of coffee that's now cold. <laughs> I bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, Shalom.